Instead of diving into the app store and downloading a bunch of apps you might not even need, I want to show you five productivity tools that are already sitting right there on your device. These aren't just basic apps, they're genuinely powerful tools that can literally help you organize your life and actually get meaningful work done. And I want to show you exactly how. One of the things I want you to notice as we go through these is how they're designed to work together within a unified ecosystem. And that's going to be key to building systems that actually work for you and not against you. Now, Freeform is something special, and I think this might be my favorite of the bunch. Think of it as having an infinite whiteboard where your ideas don't have to fit into neat little boxes. You can sketch, drop in sticky notes, import PDFs, add photos, and basically you can think visually. Let me give you a real example. I use this for mapping out my video content, and I also drop in reference images, create mind maps, and even paste my research snippets. And it also gives you the flexibility to create mood boards. It's like having a creative space that grows with your ideas. Actually, I'm planning a deep dive on Freeform because there's so many things that you can explore within the app. Now, my heart is with systems and reminders is no different. Reminders might look simple on the surface, but it's deceptively powerful. <laughs> One of the things I want you to notice is how it handles reoccurring tasks and subtasks. And I always say that Apple Reminders is like your task manager and accountability partner. It is going to hold you accountable to get what it needs to get done in a timely order. You can create task hierarchies, set location-based reminders, and organize everything by tags or custom lists. And here's something very, very helpful. It plays beautifully with Siri. You can literally just say what you need to remember while you're walking around and it's captured. This is great for those of us who have ideas at random moments. And this is genuinely helpful. And with iPad OS 26, it even gets even more powerful with Apple intelligence and better workflows, giving you the ability to complete tasks on time. Let's start with notes. And I know what you're thinking. It's just a notes app or note taking app. Well, not exactly. Let me give you an example of what I mean. You can handwrite with Apple Pencil, which is fantastic for those who think better when they're writing by hand. You can scan documents directly into your notes. You can create interactive checklists and you can even lock your sensitive notes all behind Face ID. But here's what's really cool about iPad OS 26 version. There's smart folders and inline tagging. This means that your notes can actually organize themselves based on the content that you are creating inside of notes. And that is pretty cool. And it makes finding your ideas much more easier and more realistic. Apple Calendar is where time blocking becomes your friend. You can sync it with your Google Calendar, your iCloud, or whatever you're already using. But here is what I find particularly helpful. Color coding and having different types of work and blocking out focus time. Let me give you a practical tip. Try integrating your calendar with your reminders. When you plan your week in calendar, you can see your tasks and your appointments in one unified view. It's a simple change, but it makes a real difference in how you approach your day and getting your tasks completed. Now, Journal is Apple's newest addition in iPad OS 26. I'll be honest, I was a bit skeptical at first when they introduced it, on the iPhone, but now with iPad OS 26, it has arrived on the iPad and it is growing on me. It's designed for reflection, which might not sound like productivity, but hear me out. You get guided prompts, you can attach photos, voice notes, and it helps you process what you're learning and what you're experiencing and feeling. This is great for those of us who use our devices to help us create content 
or you just need a space where you want to have reflection that can be genuinely valuable. Plus, it has Apple Intelligence, which is going to make it even more helpful with smart suggestions based on your patterns. Here's where it gets interesting. And this is something I really want you to try. These five apps aren't meant to work in isolation. Let me walk you through how I use them together. I will start planning my week with a brain dump in free form, mapping out the big projects visually. Then I would actually move to block times for specific work in calendar. Reminders allow me to keep track of all the smaller tasks that needs to happen. And throughout the day, I'm capturing ideas in notes. And at the end of the week, I'm reflecting in journal about what worked and what didn't work and having a daily as well as weekly reset. That's a complete productivity system and you didn't need to spend a dollar on third-party apps. Now, here's what I want you to do. Pick one of these apps and just spend the next few days really exploring it. I'm talking about going deeper, not just at the surface level or at the surface features. Try combining it with your existing workflow or if you are in the process of creating a workflow that makes your iPad your productivity machine and see what actually happens. Then please come back and tell me what you've discovered in the comments. Listen, I read every single comment and I would love to get your feedback because this gives me ideas on how I can help you become more productive with your iPad. If this helped you see your iPad differently, do me a favor, share it with someone who just got their first iPad or maybe someone who's been using their iPad wrong. They'll thank you for it. Remember, your tech should be working for you and not the other way around. See you in the next video.